All right. Now, can you remember who this is sitting beside you without cheating and Jamie looking? Jamie Bohannon. Thank you. Finally. You got and Melody Sykes is okay. here. Hi. And you're here Hello. to represent the Girl Scouts, right? We are. Yes. And, and tell us, you got an event coming up. Is that correct? We do have an event coming up. And Jamie is the new um, service unit director for White River Service Unit here okay. in the Mountain Home area, um, which is... We have Baxter, Izzard, and Marion counties in our service yep. unit. And so she's um, taken my place as the director, and I'm going to be your community coordinator, which means I'm going to bug you a lot. Okay. Okay. We're not on the Girl Scouts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now okay. what? I'm busy scratching a dog here. Well, we uh, have a hundred-year anniversary coming okay. up really soon um, in 2012. And so we're kind of getting ready for that. And the girls have, gals have been around here for 100 years. 100 right? years in the United States, yes. Yes, okay. wonderful. Cool. Yes, and we have some new branding coming out um, that we kind of wanted to talk about a little bit. Um, a brand new look for Girl Scouts. And uh, okay. totally lost my train of thought, Jamie. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, you talk about Got branding. Now, this is the old style. No, this is new. That's Everything new. I give you is this new. This is new. Yes. Well, I can show you. She has bangs. I have oh, I old see. style. Oh, no, no. That's no, here it is. Here it is. It went this from, is straight. It see, went from this to this. If you can zoom in, You went she has from bangs. this to this. Yes. Yeah. See? And, and from this to there this. And show them. The difference is color. Is that correct? No. She no. has bangs. See? Oh. It's the shape. See, it's more in there. It's more compact. Those of you who remember the Girl Scout thing, see? Now she has bangs. Bangs are in style now. I like the old one better. I'm sorry. <laughs> the girls don't. They want. They, they like, like this. Bangs? They like. They like the bangs, and they like. It's a different shade of green. Is that intentional? It is a little bit. Yeah. Well, oh. it may be my printer too. Okay. But yes, it is a little different. A little okay. different shade right. of green. So and that has changed. And and the Girl Scouts have changed here. Mm -hmm. You've went from a capital G and an S to a lower. Everything's Just lowercase. Everything's lowercase because why? Because what do girls spend most of their time doing? Texting. And everything's exactly. lowercase. Everything's lowercase. And all the words run together. And that's together. why they can't capitalize anymore. Speaking as a teacher, I'm exactly. Done. <laughs> and spelling I, I'm is a with problem you. Too. Oh, spelling! Oh, please. R U N, yeah, please. Yeah. And this is our new traditional trefoil. It's a little more compact. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's just, and this is our 2010. We're getting ready. We're coming up pretty close. Sorry, Jamie. I'm just putting that right no, in front of your face. Fine. Don't you worry go. about it. Well, yeah. I, maybe the viewers at home don't know, but Girl Scouts have in Arkansas have undergone uh, gone a lot of changes in they the past couple of years because we're now a state, a single statewide. We have one council, council. one council, yes. which is has its pros and cons. Yeah, but we're finding um, a lot of good quality things coming out of it. Um, we have a lot more properties that people can use, and a lot mm -hmm. more places to go. We have a lot more council events that we have um, had had previously. So there are a lot of good things coming out of it. However, let's talk about this area because this is where we live and this is what we do. And we have a problem and it's a bad problem. We have the potential to reach 3,000 girls in this area. And we have, do you want to take a stab at how many girls are members of Girl Scouting in this area? Uh, 150. 100. Yeah. It's not quite that bad. It is a little better. It's right around 300. Okay. Okay. We have an even worse problem because in this area right now, we do not have a waiting list for girls, but it could happen very quickly because out of the same number of adults that we could reach, would you like to know how many we have as members? Oh, no. How many adult members? Mm -hmm. Now, is, uh, are these, does this count the lifetime members, people who have just been on the rolls forever and don't do anything anymore, or yes. active adults? It's active adult members. Active adult members, 30. We're a little better than that. Okay. We are at 160. Oh, wow. Well, but okay. if we don't improve that. But that's one adult for every two kids. Yeah. Almost. But, yeah, mm -hmm. but if what, you have all those kids in one area and only two adults. What, yeah. what is the problem? Why I think can't? people think that if you say, we want you to be a Girl Scout volunteer, we're going to tie you into something. And mm -hmm. you're going to be they stuck there. They think den mother thing yes. or unit And you're going to be there whatever. for the rest mm -hmm. of your life. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there are a lot of different things that you can do as a Girl Scout volunteer that don't involve even having a troop. You can do special events. You can do camp. You can um, help girls um, with the virtual world, like learning how to do websites and how to use social webs social mm -hmm. networking correctly. Um, you can just be a community resource for our troop leaders to use if you have a special skill or um, a special hobby that you're really interested in, that they can call upon you when they're using that as an experience in one of their badges mm -hmm. or patches that they have to earn. Okay. Um, we, have, we wanted to set up a program for uh, grandmothers and grandfathers in the area that wanted to be um, another resource for the girls and pair them up. Yes, and, and mm -hmm. I have several people interested in that and I would like to get that rolling this year. Um, we so you want grandparent mentors? 
We type want grandparent any age, mentors. Any, any, any age. age. Okay. Um, girls, older girls really relate a lot to college age kids. Mm -hmm. I say kids, they're adults, yes. college age uh -huh. adults. Um, but they also, a lot of kids in this area don't have grandparents and a lot of grandparents in this area don't live near their grandchildren. So we kind of thought that that might be a good resource mm -hmm. for them to hook up with each other. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, our new, uh, what are we calling it, our new mission statement? Oh, um, the mission of Girl Scouts is always to build girls of courage, confidence, and character to make the world a better place. Um, and the Girl Scouts give the opportunity to those girls all, you know, all kinds of amazing opportunities to unleash their potential. Um, we, we challenge their fears and they win. Um, girls can make a difference, one girl at a time. Together, the girls can change the world. So we would, we're looking for the, a new slogan that the Girl Scouts have is, what will you do today? And it's also aiming towards the leaders mm -hmm. and the children themselves. Mm -hmm. The average person has about 26,000 days in their life. And once a day is done, it's gone. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, we want people to think about, what have you done today? Okay. And hopefully, you'll have done something really fun and exciting like what, what to, it, to benefit show. the girls in the area. <laughs> what yes. ages are you looking for to start Girl out? Scouts start from um, five years old okay. all the way to high school 18 years old and then after that they become adult leaders. Mm -hmm. um, so from kindergarten on mm -hmm. we have levels all the way through. Now with school starting are you on a, a push right now to recruit members? Is that I mean we're always on a push to recruit members. Girls can join always. some people don't realize that they they have they think they have to join like when school starts and okay. that's it they they lose mm. the opportunity and that's not true. There's no such thing as a once no, a year No, you can join any time throughout the year. Girl scouting is a whole year activity. Mm -hmm. When they sign up, our girl scouting year goes from October 1 to September 30th. So we're mm -hmm. still in the end of our last years. And mm -hmm. in October 1 we will start up again. So um, they think that oh well, I hadn't I didn't sign up, I missed it. Mm -hmm. Not true. You can sign up in the summertime. You can sign up in the spring. We're always looking for girls. We're, we're an opportunity for them. So, mm -hmm. so what, what's the first thing they need to do right now? The first thing they need to do is to call Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they can contact me and we can get them the registration form that they need. Uh, actually, our, first, our next activity that we have coming up at the end of August, on August 28th, we're going to have a day camp for our girls. It's a bring a friend event for girls that are interested in joining Girl Scouts. They can come out and sign up that day and it's from nine to four at Bull Shoals and it's it's going to be a great day of events. Um, we've got crafts, games, songs, they've got treasure hunt that they're going to do and all kinds of good stuff so mm -hmm. and that's the perfect opportunity. Uh, can can, uh, can individuals kind of come and observe what's going on and how they can be involved and that kind of thing? Well you it mean, might be sure. a place where mothers could meet the scout leaders so they would feel more comfortable. Sure. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. And, and, and meet some of the people who yes. are involved, the leaders. Can, the, they can know, come and participate in our day camp okay. and don't have the obligation to necessarily sign up for Girl Scouts at that time. Okay. This right. gives the girls, that's why it's a bring a friend event. Bring your friends, let them see what we do. Let them see how much fun we yeah. have. There's no, but no commitment required. No. Okay, no. wonderful, wonderful, okay. wonderful. The other thing yep. that I wanted to mention to you, especially mm -hmm. Sandy, since I know that you've been involved in Girl Scouts yes. before, is um, we're doing an oral history project with Girl Scouts Diamonds. Okay. And um, we're wanting to contact Girl alumni. Scouts alumni. of experience. Former board alumni. Member. Alumni. Girl Scout hey, alumni. I was on the board when we sold part of that. <laughs> I didn't do that. Woo, I didn't do man. that. I didn't vote for it. That I, I just got to say that right out there. Yeah, that, that, that was rough. That's still that a bony contention. If we could chew that one all day long. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. <laughs> Um, some of the girls are going to be doing like projects where they talk to Girl Scout alumni mm -hmm. and get um, recordings and videotape and everything mm -hmm. of, of, of alumni talking about their Girl Scout years. And so I thought maybe later on after the show yeah. you and I could talk and maybe cook some girls up with some people. And then the project is going to be like a huge presentation at the, at the uh, inclusion ceremony, mm -hmm. I think, in 2012 for Diamonds Council. Well, there was a woman, uh, one of our last uh, meetings before the, the local council um, mm -hmm. dissolved, and it was the a woman, her mother, her daughter, her daughter, and there were like four or five children, and they, they had like 
over a hundred years of Girl Scouts, and they got a special award at, at the end of the yes. year recognition. Yes. Someone like that would just be, it would be fabulous. phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I think about Helene and some yeah. other people. Mm -hmm. yeah, Helene would know how to contact that woman, I that guarantee. I think would be really cool for us yeah. to do this together, and then maybe Dan can show some of it on the show. Sure oh, of course he would. He, he's always wanted to be a Girl Scout. I always wanted to be a Girl Scout. I always um, wanted to be a Girl Scout. Well, we appreciate you being here, and for more information, they contact you. Call yeah, you what number? Phone number again? 404 3-7-0. Okay. All right. Thank you all for being here. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Up next, Gary Blank. Uh, With talk the duck about races. Duck races. Stay Cotter with us. duck races.